To be all in means that your only priority is to always manage your state of being. If you wish to generate a different life, you need to start paying attention to your state of consciousness and you have to let go of circumstances. You have to become aware of your vibration and learn to very, very consistently and constantly choose your preferred state of being, regardless of what you see. If your state of being is 100% your chosen preference all of the time, reality will have to reflect that. Physical reality is like a mirror. All it ever does is reflect you all the time. It's constantly mirroring your state of being, your vibrational attitude, your consciousness. Step back fully into the creator seat, take control of yourself and become more deliberate in your manifestations. We are here to create things that have never been created before. Generate a presence that is of your preference. You have to overwhelm what is appearing as your circumstances with your chosen vibratory presence. You have to manifest and generate the experience that you want consciously. This is actually one of the most powerful keys to becoming conscious again of the fact that you are God, that you are the creator. It's to actually practice inundating and overwhelming your reality with your chosen presence, your chosen frequency. Then you will really fall in love with your reality, with your creation. You will start to become one with it. What I'm talking about is a really high, finely tuned, intentional state of love light that can have any shape. Choose one of the facets of that high vibrational love light of the one infinite creator, tap into it and dominate your reality with it. This is your creation, it's not your reception. You are never receiving anything ever. You're only ever giving life to creation. It is a mechanical impossibility to experience someone else's energy. It's always your version of them. You need to counter what you've been doing for decades, which is, I'm over here and you're over there. Ultimately, that is the only love there is, the one wanting to know itself. Existence doesn't desire me, is the feeling of unworthiness. All of this creation is really the one looking at itself. You are that one that wants to know itself, and so you are generating this reality. This is just one of your many realities. You are everywhere all at once, moving at infinite speeds, while remaining absolutely still. Consciousness is always here. Every experience you have meets inside of consciousness, inside of you. You can never change you. You can never leave you. You are inescapable. You as consciousness, you as awareness, you as that witnessing principle, you as that ever-present being are inescapable. Your vibrational attitude is how you view yourself in any given moment. How you view yourself determines the way you experience life. It determines your state of being. Your vibrational attitude is what you are constantly emitting. The energy or frequency of your being. The state of your consciousness. You are choosing your images out of a field of infinite, parallel, probable realities. Realize that your consciousness has the ability to change the picture, to shift into a parallel reality intentionally. 
The more awareness you bring into your experience, the more you can change your thoughts, your consciousness, your attention, your vibratory state. What is the next most exciting, uplifting, empowering thing to generate for myself and for the rest of myself, the rest of my creation? You have to enter willingly into your creator's seat. Step into the vibratory state where you know that you are responsible for the reflections you see. What you see is what you are. What you choose is what you see. What you feel is what you create. What you see is a reflection of what you are being. You have to become aware of your vibration and learn to very, very consistently choose your preferred state of being, regardless of what you see. Regardless of how things appear, do not flinch. You can still communicate with others and accept the conventional appearance of reality, but internally, subjectively, your state of being is 100% your chosen preference all of the time. Using your state of being, overpower your experience of what is with only your preference, while maintaining complete respect for the seeming existence of other people's free will. I want to inspire you to constantly desire to stay alert and be aware of what you are sending out until you reach a super satisfactory state where your life is no longer generated randomly, but consciously. To be all in means that it is your only priority to determine and direct your own state of being at all times. The resonance is what it's about. The frequency, the state of being, is what you really want. You want the feeling of it. You want the beingness of it. You can't really know what that's like. You can't really know how to respond or interact from that space. You can't really recognize that integrity until you start actually experiencing it. You can only experience what it's like when you expand beyond your bubble, beyond your biases, beyond your preferences, and you remember your true preference. Place everything you desire in your past a little while ago as if it already happened, and feel what that was like. To be in the future generates more presence than to be in the present, which is based on the past. There's nothing more beautiful than to be in a state of pure desire without doubt, knowing that you are connected to all that is, knowing that you are infinitely powerful and infinitely abundant. That state itself becomes your home. That state itself becomes your freedom, your liberation, your source of power and well-being. It becomes your ability to manifest the things truly relevant for you quickly, rapidly, often as if magically so. That state itself is super-accelerated living. 